whether by life or by death, I, I want to glorify the Lord in my body. A usurper rose and drove David from his throne. And David fled off into the wilderness. And I tell you, in times like that, you find who your friends really are. We read about Ittai in verse 19 of chapter 15. And he saw David's calamity as an opportunity for standing with the king. It seems he was a Gentile, a Gittite. And he came to the king and he said, Whatever it costs, verse 21, as the Lord lives and as my Lord the king lives, surely in what place my Lord the king shall be, whether in death or life, even there also will thy servant be. And what was his place? What was Ittai's place as a result? In chapter 18 and verse 2, we read what happened to Ittai. David numbered the people and set captains over his army. He sent forth a third part of the people under the hand of Joab, a third under the hand of Abishai, and a third part under the hand of Ittai the Gittite. He was willing to give up everything for the king, and the king ended up putting him in the forefront of his army, giving him a place of honor in the day when the king presented himself. Is it possible to betray the Savior in the day of his rejection? Ahithophel saw David's calamity as an opportunity for vengeance. And so he went over to the side of the enemy. He betrayed David. David says, if it had been somebody else, I could have borne it. But, but it was thou, a man mine equal, my, my own friend, my dear friend, you betrayed me, Ahithophel. It's not always a word we speak. Sometimes it's the betrayal of silence, isn't it? Are we not willing to identify with the king in the day of his rejection? But I owe him everything. This once rejected king, he didn't just um, give me his royal dainties. He opened heaven to me. And he gave me everything he had. He died for me. Are we looking after the king's interests while he's away? What are the king's interests? Well, he's not willing that any should perish, we heard today, but that all should come to repentance. That's the king's interest. And those who set about to uh, to feed the flock of God, that's the king's interest, isn't it? The chief shepherd is going to appear and, and present to those who have been willing to lay down their lives for the brethren a crown that won't fade away. It's the king's interest. To see not only the expansion of the kingdom and the salvation of souls and the upbuilding of his people in the ministry of the word, but it's in the king's interest that his name be glorified on the earth. Whether by life or by death, I want to glorify the Lord in my body.